Let's examine Trump's visit with Kevin Matthews. He's a professor at George Mason University in the state of Virginia. Um, where do you think U.S.-U.K. relations stand at the moment, and what are both sides hoping to accomplish with this visit? Well, the, to answer your first question, relations were rockier than tonight's state uh, or uh, banquet would, would indicate. Uh, the two sides have some fundamental differences, starting with Brexit, but also a larger question about international organizations such as NATO, the European Union, um, and finally with trade relations. There's also the issue with Huawei, whether or not uh, the UK should allow Huawei to have a stake in uh, 5G development in the UK. Uh, Donald Trump does not want that to happen. And he's even suggesting that the vital Five Eyes intelligence uh, network between the UK, the US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand might uh, be broken because of it. What do you make of the timing of this visit, given some of what you just said, but especially Brexit, with Donald Trump already endorsing uh, Boris Johnson, Theresa May is still in office there meeting tomorrow, with this imminent leadership change there? Well, it, it, you know, it's not unusual, I guess, by now to say that Donald Trump has again broken convention. Uh, Diplomatic protocol has it that you do not get involved in another country's domestic politics. But he stepped right into the middle of it by suggesting that Boris Johnson should be the next prime minister. Uh, he's also suggested that Nigel Farage should be appointed the chief negotiator for the British with the EU, which is a bit complicated because Farage does not have a seat in parliament, so he can't be a member of government. Uh, it is going to make tomorrow's talks interesting. Uh, tonight was the ceremony. Tomorrow is when they get into the nitty-gritty of the political discussions, and they could turn ugly. And you have this kickoff with his visit um, with comments directed at London's Mayor Sadiq Khan. Yes, I mean, that's a bit of a sideshow. It, it, most other leaders would have just brushed that off. Uh, but Donald Trump seems to think that he has, has to answer every criticism. It is interesting to note that uh, Sadiq Khan was attacking Donald Trump because of his policies. Donald Trump attacks Sadiq Khan uh, for his looks and for his height. And I think that's telling. What will you be looking for tomorrow on Tuesday as Donald Trump meets Theresa May? Well, the, the complication here is, is that Theresa May is not going to be prime minister for all intents and purposes by Friday. So they could be going through the motions of talks. This, this visit was planned months ago when Theresa May thought she would still be prime minister. Um, it may be a case where the two sides just lay out their positions and they have to wait until the next prime minister is appointed by the Conservative Party. Um, so it could lead to fireworks or it could be a big bust. Uh, what might be more interesting is what happens when Donald Trump goes to Normandy for the D-Day commemorations uh, because there he'll meet President Macron from France. And Emmanuel Macron has made it quite clear that he wants a stronger European Union. He wants a more integrated European Union. It's the exact opposite of what Donald Trump wants. And so the talks there could actually be potentially uh, have a much longer lasting impact. Especially when there's this discussion of uh, a trade deal between the United States and the UK post Brexit. Yeah, I see, I think that's a bit of a mirage. There are people in the UK who think that they're going to get a great trade deal from the US once they get out of the EU. But those talks are going to take years. It could be five, maybe 10 years before you get a trade deal. Uh, and in between them, the UK is going to have to struggle on alone. I can't see how Donald Trump is going to give the British a good trade deal from their perspective. Donald Trump, Trump is a transactional president. And he's going to do what is best for the United States and for himself. Uh, and I think that the British are chasing a rainbow if they think that they are going to get a good deal for the UK. Kevin Matthews, we appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.